good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm filming a weekend in my life so welcome to my weekend i'm just about to head out to the grocery store to do my you know annual annual weekly <laughs> grocery shop and i'm hoping it's not too busy the worst but it's also the only reason i can really leave my house so we're gonna go and pick up some things i need some snacks i need some breakfast food all of that jazz this is my outfit i'll show you in the mirror my room is a disaster so oh maybe i just fell whatever i'm wearing this little cropped zip sweatshirt from revolve it is lovers and friends and i'm obsessed with it then i'm wearing my zara mom jeans with some socks <laughs> my hair is in these braids and it's time to go grocery shopping All right, guys, I'm back from the grocery store. I'm gonna do a mini haul. It's not very <laughs> shocking. It's like what I always get. But like, I just like grocery haul, so I'll show you what I got. First off, ham olive oil, because I've been living without cooking spray for a while now, and it's really annoying. So I got some guacamole, because like, I had to. I've been really into oatmeal recently. Oatmeal with a little bit of brown sugar and blueberries in the morning. It's just like, I love it. So I got some oatmeal. Spaghetti because I want to make spaghetti with bolognese meat sauce kind of thing. So I got some spaghetti, some whatever that kind is. More clementines, I'm obsessed. I should have put that in my favorites video because I think clementines are my current favorite food of all time. <laughs> then I got some more apples, bananas, kiwis, two packs of blueberries. For chips, I got salt and vinegar and lime and black pepper, ooh. I got some more oat milk for my coffee, some more soup because why not? So I got some herbed chicken with rice. This one's really good, I like it. I should've got my other one, but I forgot to get it. Annoying, but whatever. I got some tomato sauce. I love the red wine and herbs one. Sorry. Oh, I still have my thing with that. Yeah, the mouse is hanging off. I got two things of goldfish crackers, cause why not? I got some feminine products. Deodorant, so I don't stink. I got tomato soup, woo! I got two things of shells and white cheddar. And last but not least, I got a pizza. We had this one last night and it was really good, so I bought another one. Pepperoni pesto, baby. Did you like that pizza last night? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, restaurant day. You know what you're doing. Whoever makes these frozen pizzas. It is such a sunny day out today. It's like freezing, like the Arctic tundra, literally, but sunny as hell. So it kind of makes up for it. It's like you're frozen, but the sun's beating down. So you feel like the endorphins coming in at the same time, you know? and my bookcase came. So I'm gonna start building it and see how I go. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. So guys, I'm just building my shelf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me building my shelf lasted yeah, five minutes. And then I asked my dad to come help me because I'm not good at building things. I try, but I just get frustrated. Cause I can't hold it and screw it in at the same time and it falls over and then I just get annoyed. Maybe do this side cause then these have to attach to each other, do you know what I mean? So maybe yes, you this side point. first. I will concede that point. I may not be handy, but I do have a brain. <laughs> I'm so excited to have a show. Guys, it's built. My dad helped me, obviously, as I showed you. But now I need to go get my books from downstairs and bring them up here and start, start setting them up because I have a lot of books. I got to figure out where they're all going in here. So guys, I've just set up this bookcase for now. These are all the books I have on here. I don't know where half my books went. I guess they're lost. So <laughs> this is my romance section. This is my fantasy section. And then down here we have all of my thriller books. There's like a lot of thrillers and I plan to like double lap this probably. Um, but we'll see whichever books I end up having the most of I'll put on this shelf so I can like double layer them This is blank for more books. I plan to like probably I mean right now I'm really into fantasy So I'm assuming this is gonna grow and then go down here as well And yeah, it looks really good so far. I'm sorry for the dogs barking. They don't stop Ever it was literally overheating in that sweater took it off just wearing some random t-shirt now It's from Urban Outfitters, but I'm gonna make a matcha <laughs> It's like three I have this vanilla matcha from David's Tea, so I'm gonna use that. All I need is my mug and my whisk. Where's my whisk? Whisk, whisk. And I'll froth some oat milk and we're 
good to go. Let's see if I can do a heart again in my cup. Probably not, because it was really hard last time, but I'm gonna try. We'll see how that goes. I did it. I nailed it again. A little mini heart. So cute. I'm literally just chilling out right now because it's Saturday, so. You know, Saturday vibes, Vampire Diaries, matcha, and my fishy crackers. Where are my fishy crackers? Weren't they just here? Confusion. Fishy crackers? Where did you go? No, I gotta find them. They're lost. And they are a necessity in my life. So we need those. All right, if you need me, I'll be here. Matcha, fishies, Damon Salvatore. Look at my best fight. <laughs> Happy Sunday. So I spent my morning reading. I finished The Cruel Prince. It was really, really good. What I'll say about it is that the first half is kind of slow and then it builds up and gets freaking good. I finished this and now I'm on to the second one, The Wicked King. So I'm gonna read this one next, started tonight. I burned through the other one. I literally read it in three days. So I feel like I'll probably do the same with this one. But yeah, I'm gonna go do a workout soon. I kinda wanna follow a workout, do like a hit kind of thing so I think I'm gonna do that I'm too lazy to make one for myself it is Sunday you know feeling a, a wee bit lazy today a wee bit I also had some weird dreams last night I had a dream that I was like bitten by a snake which was really creepy it was like a huge snake and it was like purple and black and bit me and I was like why so yeah that was scary <laughs> I'm trying to plan for February obviously so I'm gonna plan out in my um, planner they actually have this section in the beginning of each month where you can write down like kind of like your goals for that month so i'm gonna do that what i'm most excited about my focus for this month things that i'll do for my happiness and then you can do your goals your personal goals and your professional goals before the start of each month so i think i'm gonna do that as well today just to get that out of the way and i can start planning for february because today is the last day of january it is january 31st when you're watching this, it'll be February 2nd. All right, let's get this workout started. I just need to find a good one on YouTube. Usually I do like Heather Robinson's videos. I like hers. I like that she doesn't talk in them. <laughs> I literally, they're just so nice to follow because it's just music and like her doing the moves. You just follow what she does. I love that. Perfect. Total body, low impact hit workout with dumbbells. Exactly what I needed and she just posted it two hours ago. It's like she read my mind. I'm gonna do this workout. It should only take me 40 minutes and we'll be good to go. It won't go away. I got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna fight. I got my hands on your body. So tell me, tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not it.
I just finished my workout. I'm literally a sweaty mess. <laughs> I'm gonna link the exact workout that I did in the description box if you guys wanna do it too. You can, it was really, really good. Um, I like that it was low impact. Sometimes I don't like jumping, it hurts my knees and stuff. So that was good. I had a great time. It was so fun. I'm gonna go shower now and freshen up. So we're looking fresh and clean for today. Cause you know, being sweaty is not exactly ideal, but yeah. That workout was really good. Sometimes it's just fun to follow along with someone else. It's like you're in a class following an instructor, which I miss so much. Oh, I miss my gym. I miss my gym. I'm like praying in March it'll reopen. I'm like, please, please, please. I beg of you. <laughs> I miss it. We're gonna go shower now. Freshen up. I kind of want to self tan tonight. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. First up though. Shower time. I just showered, I'm all fresh, did my makeup. I'm in my rainbow sweatsuit that I love so much, but I wanted to go over some of my goals for February because I planned them out this morning before I started working out. Things I'll do for my happiness are number one, read. Number two, exercise. Number three, take days off because I sometimes don't take days off. Number four, keep a clean space. Try and keep my room clean. Try and keep my office that I'm in right now clean. Try and keep everything clean for the goals personal i have read five books in february i think i can do that easily i think i got this so five books in february and basically i'm just going to dedicate time before bed to reading because it's important and it makes me happy also i'm going to work out four times a week i'm going to make a little workout schedule to make sure i keep up with that habit number three i want to drink a green smoothie every day because i feel like i need to make sure i get my greens in and that's like a really easy way for me to do that i also love green smoothies they're delicious so Double bonus. Then number four, I wanna wake up earlier because recently I've been sleeping in and I don't like that. You know, I don't wanna get up at eight or nine. I'm trying to get up at 7.30 and then slowly as summer gets closer, I wanna get up earlier and earlier. So by summer, I wanna be getting up at like 6 a.m. So we need to start slowly. I'm gonna start with 7.30. Well, I'm gonna set an alarm on my alarm clock, but I'm also gonna set an alarm on my phone and I'm gonna keep my phone across the room so that I have to get up out of bed in order to turn off the alarm and therefore, I will wake up. You can't get out of bed and not wake up. I mean, I could, but probably not. Professional goals, I just have more growth on Instagram. I wanna reach higher with my YouTube subscribers by just being really consistent with my uploads. And I would also love to reach 60K on Instagram. That would be amazing. We are planning for February and I'm so excited. February is a short month too, which is nice. And it's just a month of love. All right, I'm gonna go make some lunch. And then I just wanna go through my sweaters because I feel like there's too much going on in here, okay? It's overwhelming me. There's a lot of stuff I don't wear. For lunch, I'm just making some minestrone soup. It's one of my favorites. And I'm feeling kind of cold right now. I'm feeling some soup, you know, to warm my soul. Maybe some fishy crackers too, okay? Living my best life this Sunday. Oh, which is always delicious, but I'm gonna go through my sweaters now because there's too many. I've already decided on three that I'm gonna part ways with. <laughs> the first one is this green one, which I love the color, but I hate the way it fits me. It's like not tight, but it's not loose. So it just is kind of like unflattering. Second, this black sweater. I've just had it for 3000 years and I just, feel like it's time for us to part ways and for me to find something new. <laughs> Goodbye. Lastly, I feel bad. My mom actually bought me this for Christmas. But I don't really like the vibes, you know? I put it on and I don't feel good about myself. <laughs> Let's go through them. Where should we start? This yellow one. I don't have anything else yellow, so I do quite enjoy this. This one, this is like my rainbow sweater. I also quite enjoy this. It's very like vintage kind of vibes. These are two of my Christmas sweaters. I really should part ways with them because I wear them like every year. This one I have to keep, come on. This is epic. You know what, this is hard to find too, so I'm gonna keep both of them, okay? Where can you find a gray sweatshirt with rainbow sequins in it? Okay, I found one that I'm gonna get rid of because I've worn it once and then I never wore it again, so I'm just gonna part ways with it. 
It's this House of Harlow sweater. It is nice. I just don't see myself wearing it again. I wore it literally once over a year ago. Orange. Cardigan. I like it. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I don't really have any other red sweaters, so I'm gonna keep this one too. It's cute. This one I got from Princess Polly. I have never worn it yet. And I don't think I will. I don't know. It's not doing anything for me. We're clearing space. This sweater, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I have had this for so long. Like, I think it's time for us to part ways, you know? We've been together since I was in college. I think since like 2017, I've had this sweater. So I think it's time. Goodbye, old friend. We're starting a new path, a new journey. <laughs> this is like a grandma sweater, okay? It's got the buttons. Very librarian-esque. Don't really wear this one either. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This sweater, mm, it's average, you know? It's just like a V-neck, thin knit, nothing special sweater. I don't really love it. <laughs> this is really, really like stretched out, I feel like. I'm shocked I parted with that one. That was shocking to me. This I'm gonna get rid of. This is from Aritzia, but I don't like the way it fits on me. It's like this little cropped cardigan thing. It's just not really flattering. This sweater, I love it. I got this recently in a haul. But the thing is, okay, I picked out this color. I don't really like this color on me. I think I'm gonna give this one to my mom. I feel like she'll wear it all the time. And then we have my denim drawer, which is aggressively full. So we also need to go through this drawer. These jeans I love, Levi's. Another pair that I love, Zara mom jeans, okay? The best jeans. These ones I love too. These are like the full length wide leg or something, but they're basically like flare jeans. These are the light wash. I actually just ordered them in black as well. So I'll have both pairs. Those are gonna be my go-tos in the spring. I'm obsessed with them. Another pair of pants I love, my leather pants. Obsessed with these. I love these too. These are like the Levi's ribcage straight jeans. This pair doesn't fit me that well, but I'm like hoping that my butt's just gonna get bigger so they'll be more flattering. So I'm gonna keep them because they are cute. These pants I just got, but I need to get them hemmed. So I'm waiting for us to go into a different stage other than lockdown so I can get them hemmed. But they're like leggings that have like a flared kind of leg. These Levi's are okay. I don't know, I don't love them. Every time I wear them, I'm like, I don't love these. I'm gonna put those in the donate pile. Plaid leggings. I don't, I'm not really into leggings anymore, so I'm gonna donate those too. These pants I never wear, never wear. What are these? I never wear skinny, these are like skinny jeans that I have that I never wear. I don't wear skinny jeans ever. But the thing is, I'm like, what if they come back in style? Does anyone else think this? I'm like, I don't really wanna get rid of all my skinny jeans because what if skinny jeans are back and then I'll own no skinny jeans? That's kind of alarming. <laughs> so I definitely have to keep some pairs. I can't just get rid of my entire skinny jean collection. I'm gonna keep these for sure. These are black high rise skinny jeans that have rips in the knees. They are covered in dog hair, that's great. This brand from Aritzia, Denim Forum, are super flattering, so I'm gonna keep those. I also have these corduroy pants, which I'm gonna keep because I feel like I can style them cute in the spring. All right, that was pretty good. Progress. All right guys, I'm feeling good. This room is so clean. Everything is organized. You know like those days where you just get like a lot of stuff down and you just feel really good about yourself? You're like, wow, I actually accomplished things. <laughs> That's how I feel today. Normally I have lazy Sundays, but I've been pretty productive on the weekends recently and it actually makes me feel good. I don't know. I like being busy. I like getting stuff done. I really want to buy myself some fresh flowers to put right in this corner. Like how pretty would that be? I'm gonna have to do that. This week sometime I'll do that. <laughs> All right guys, I've been sitting here editing this vlog for a hot minute. It literally got dark and I didn't even notice. So that's good. Also, I'm orange. I've just been sitting here for a hot minute editing, getting the video done and dusted. I'm not gonna finish it tonight because I wanna like chillax for a little bit, but I got a good chunk done. I think I went for like a weekly vlog this week. So stay tuned for Friday. I'll probably put it live on Friday. And then for Sunday's video, I plan to do a what I eat in a day, but we're gonna do a vegan one. I'm gonna try and eat vegan for a day, which I've actually never tried to do in my entire life. This is a first. We're gonna eat all vegan for a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little weekend in my life. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my socials. If you watch this video all the way to the end, comment down below your books have a home because <laughs> they finally do look at look at them living their best life back there all right anyways i love you all